entry is by gold coin donation to help fund the paddle steamer fact sheets provided free to visitors. Trestle tables line the shop and upon them are the 26 paddle steamer models. They are the size you would carry in your arms rather than pick up in your hands. This is a wonderland and it is hard to know where to start. There are five models of the paddle steamer PS Marion, each depicting a different time in her history. On the deck of one, meticulously stitched Hessian bales represent her cargo of wool bales. On others are passenger cabins. The real PS Marion has been fully restored and cruises the Murray from Manham in South Australia. Behind the displays are paddle steamer memorabilia, posters and paintings, photos and plans, signs and advertisements. There is a framed collection of souvenir tea towels featuring paddle steamers, early pioneers, old river boats, River Murray, and Mildura. On another table are models of the Emma, the Mugelwonk and the Oscar W. The Mugelwonk is piled high with a wool bale cargo, more of the stitched Hessian bales and with carefully chosen sticks cut as logs for the boilers. We cannot help but admire Rod's skill and patience. It is a cold day. We linger near the back of the shop chatting with Rod. He treats us to a look in the back room, where on an old kitchen table he is working on a model of the Ruby, a 1907 side-wheeled paddle steamer. This is of particular interest as we have just come from looking over the PS Ruby where she is being renovated by volunteers at nearby Fotherby Park. I buy a book about her and can't wait to read it. Rod has since completed this model, which after 649 hours of work he presented to the Wentworth Shire Council.